Hello everyone and Assalamu Alaikum. Have you ever felt like you are stuck in a never ending loop of sadness and anxiety, wondering if you will ever be yourself again? You are not alone. Today, I am sharing a personal story from my friend Kashif, who faced depression and anxiety head on. His journey from feeling isolated to taking control of his life is both relatable and inspiring. If you are struggling with your mental health or know someone who is, stick around. This video could change your perspective. I remember asking Kashif this question years ago. How does one overcome depression and anxiety? His answer left a profound impact on me and I believe it. It can help you too. Kashif's first step was acceptance. Instead of feeling ashamed of his depression, he decided to embrace it. The moment I stopped hiding and accepted that I was dealing with depression, things started to shift. I no longer let my struggles define me. Instead, I began understanding them. Tip: Accept that mental health struggles are part of life. It's okay not to be okay. Kashif then asked himself, what brought him to this state? I took a step back and examined what issues were troubling me. What was I afraid of? What needed attention? Tip. Make a list of the issues weighing you down and address them one by one. It's a way to gain control gradually. Kashif realized that protecting his peace was more important than anything else. Anything that disturbed your peace of mind needs to be cut off, chopped off. You must prioritize your mental well-being. Tip. Identify what's draining your energy whether it's toxic people, habits or environments and start making changes. Staying active helped Kashif keep negative thoughts at bay. I made sure to meet my friends and stay active. Physical activity, even small, makes a huge difference. Tip. Incorporate regular physical activity into your routine. Even a short walk or workout might be some games can elevate your mood. Kashif's biggest realization was that his mental and physical health were connected. You can't be physically healthy if you are mentally unwell. Taking care of my mind was just as important as taking care of my body. Tip. Nurture both your mental and physical health. Treat them as equally important. What steps have you taken to prioritize your mental health? Share in the comments and I would love to hear your experience. To overcome depression and anxiety, Kashif learned that acceptance, addressing issues, setting boundaries and staying physically active were keys. But most importantly, he realized that the biggest help came from within through self-help and self-compassion. Remember, your mental health is just as important as your physical health. Love 
and believe in yourself and everything else will follow it's not an overnight process but with time and patience you can come out stronger on the other side thank you for watching take care of yourself and don't forget you are not alone in this journey till then take care bye bye and i'll see you in the next video